supposed to be the job of talking. My name is Bill Drury. I'm the president of the Royal Irish Academy. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to Academy House for this public consultation meeting on the report of the Copyright Review Committee. Uh, the Academy is delighted to host this. Um, it's very appropriate because we actually have one of the original items of intellectual property dispute, the car park of St. Colin Hillier, which um, unusually you may have seen on your way in. I'm afraid we have to lock it away because it is our greatest treasure. Uh, a few housekeeping uh, announcements. Could you please put mobile phones on silent? Uh, I won't ask you to switch them off because I'm sure some of you will be tweeting. Uh, also, in the very unlikely event of a fire alarm, there is an emergency exit there, or the way you came in out of the front, and the assembly point is in front of the mansion house. Uh, finally, I have to say that the, the minister wishes to apologise that he has to leave immediately after his address. He would have liked to have stayed and taken part in the debate, but it will be recorded, and you can be assured that your views will be heard. So without further ado, it is now my great pleasure to call on Minister Sean Shaw to address us. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and may I start by thanking uh, Luke uh, for hosting us. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful institution. And I think more and more we're beginning to utilise it as an institution for public engagements such as this one. And um, I just want to thank him and all his team here uh, for, for agreeing to host us again uh, this evening. And can I also just thank Siobhan, the librarian, for giving us a little tutorial there on, on, on the Cahawk and on the judgments as well and on other texts uh, that are here present. And it's worth your while taking a look at them. They're absolutely uh, amazing. So it's wonderful to have such, uh, such an abundance of uh, literature here dating back to you know, the 6th century. So I'm delighted to be here. So in essence, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be here this evening to open this public forum at which uh, members of the Copyright Review Committee <coughs> have kindly agreed to present on their report entitled uh, Modernising Copyright. And again, I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to the Royal Irish Academy for agreeing to host the event this evening, and again to uh, <coughs> Professor Luke Drury for agreeing to, to moderate uh, this evening's proceedings. The occasion provides an opportunity for all present to hear directly from the members of the committee, uh, Dr. Owen O'Dell, Patricia McGovern, uh, Professor Steve Headley, about the rationale for the recommendations contained in the report which was published at the end of October. This opportunity allows also for further probing of the recommendations by you and the wider copyright community in the presence of the committee members. I encourage you to participate actively in the open question and answer session that will follow on from the committee's presentations. I'd also like to welcome all of you, the participants of this evening's proceedings and to thank you uh, for uh, your interest. I believe that the capacity attendance speaks to the importance of the issues contained in the report for the various interests and individuals represented uh, here this evening. Given the subject matter of our deliberations, I hope that you will agree that the setting for this evening's proceedings is also particularly apt. How is it that goes? Is that reference to here? the late 6th century Cahawk of St. Columba, the genesis of which led to the first recorded judgment in the field uh, of copyright. <coughs> I'm delighted to see that uh, with the benevolence of the Academy, the Cahawk, as I've said, is on display here this evening. Before going any further, I'd like to express my sincere and deeply felt thanks and, and that of Minister Richard Rubin to the members of the committee for their considerable work uh, culminating uh, in their final uh, report. The level of personal time, commitment and engagement that the committee, led by Dr. Owen O'Dell, has shown in completing this work is exemplary. I commend them also for the level of public consultation and engagement that was undertaken in the lead up to the publication of the final report. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge their considerable generosity 
uh, in agreeing to participate in the public forum uh, this evening. I hope that the committee will forgive me for quoting directly from the opening line of their report that, and I quote, copyright reform is in the air. Uh, this is very much the case, and copyright reform is exercising the minds of policy makers and legislators, not just in Ireland, but in a diverse range of countries stretching from more far from places uh, such as Canada and Australia to closer to home in Spain and the United Kingdom. And these countries are either in the process of or have already implemented quite extensive copyright reform. The need for copyright modernisation arises from the dynamic changes that have occurred in the medium that uh, people access and use copyright works, be that in relation to newspapers, uh, books, music, films uh, and broadcasts. The radical move to digital by people in their everyday lives for purposes of relaxation, entertainment and doing business online has formed a demand for online service provision. This means having access to copyright works in ways that were never even considered within the confines within the confines of the existing copyright framework. Furthermore, copyright regimes also need to act in a manner that facilitates the growth of innovation, which is key in paving the way for economic growth. In order that businesses can flourish, they must be encouraged to innovate. If it is the case that the existing copyright regime designed for an earlier time acts as a barrier to that growth, it is timely to look closely at the model and adapt it to meet the new realities of the digital era. In the EU context, the European Commission has just last week published a wide-ranging consultation document posing questions in a number of key areas in which the Commission wished to gauge the views of stakeholders to frame necessary reforms in the copyright area. The need for copyright reform has, for a considerable time now, been referred to by a number of EU commissioners and most recently uh, by Commissioner Barney, who is responsible for the internal market. It is also a matter in which our heads of state and government uh, have pronounced on a number of occasions over the past few years in terms of the conclusions adopted by the European Council. In essence, there is a clarion call that copyright reform is needed to meet the requirements of the digital age and that this is urgent. It is our job to bring into reality this repeated call for action uh, by uh, political leaders. However, this must be carefully balanced against the need for rights holders to reap the just rewards from their creative efforts. Because quite simply, if the copyright regime stymies as opposed to encourages creativity, this will have a knock-on and stultifying effect uh, also uh, on innovation. It is against this backdrop that in May 2011, Minister Bruton appointed the members of the uh, Copyright Review Committee to examine Irish copyright legislation to identify any areas that might be considered uh, to create barriers to innovation and, if so, to identify solutions for removing these barriers. The report contains in excess of 60 recommendations. It is wide-ranging, with recommendations spanning diverse areas of activity and, to name but a few, covers a proposal to create a Copyright Council seeks to regularise the position of photographs and metadata and suggests the creation of a special judicial stream uh, within the existing court system to deal with IP-related disputes issues as well as having a small claims court to deal with lesser uh, IP uh, disputes. I am aware that not everything in the report is pleasing to everyone here today. Uh, I know that a number of the issues covered in the report are proven controversial and give rise to divergent views. To my mind, any report that does not bring to the fore and raise such issues is not worth doing and would be lacking in something essential uh, if it did not do so. The type of issues I have in mind are those related to the use of links to newspaper articles and the related issue of being able to use small news snippets without infringing copyright. Others relate to the recommendations around the use of exceptions and 
limitations provided for in the EU Copyright Directive, including also proposals in relation to fair use and the exception designed uh, to incentivize uh, innovation. <coughs> By its very nature, copyright legislation is a matter of achieving a fair balance between competing interests of right holders and those wishing to use their works. This balance is a delicate one as it strives to provide an optimal uh, reward system for creators with the quid pro quo that these works should be available also for the benefits of society as well as a means to facilitate the creation of an environment conducive to innovation. So in terms of the next steps, I know that the publication of the report has generated considerable interest uh, within the broad copyright community represented uh, by all of you uh, present. Now that the committee has completed its task with the publication of the report, responsibility for the next steps lie firmly with myself and Minister Bruton in our department. I can assure you that it is not our intention that the report will uh, languish and grow dusty on a shelf. The copyright modernisation agenda is too important and needs to be moved on. Rather, it is our intention to examine carefully and in great detail all of the recommendations in the report against the broader policy context and the legal scope the legal scope affecting each of the recommendations. I expect that the draft legislation which the committee has crafted as part of the report will provide us with a very useful guide. While this work has started, it will require significant investment in time and effort by our officials uh, before we are in a position to bring the results of that examination to government for consideration and ultimately to present government with proposals uh, for legislative reform. I expect that this work can be completed in the first half of 2014. In making recommendations to government, the department will, as necessary, engage with the relevant stakeholders uh, in the relevant policy areas and will of course have regard also to the orientation and policy options being pursued within the broader EU level which uh, I alluded to uh, earlier. Today is the beginning of a process of engagement and is the reason that I was anxious to hear directly from you, the interested parties in a public forum of your views on various aspects of the report. I want to uh, assure you that our conclusions uh, and the legislative provisions to which they are likely to give rise will be carefully balanced to maintain the necessary link between cherishing creativity and allowing for the use of the results of that creativity for the betterment of society and to meet urgent uh, business needs. Again, may I repeat my call of gratitude uh, to uh, the Copyright Review Committee for, for their work. Uh, they put in an extraordinary amount of their personal time, as I said earlier, uh, and you know, this work was done, let's be frank about it, pro bono, and I just want to report personally my gratitude for their work. Uh, it was not an easy report to, to craft, and I think a fair uh, dues is due to them, and I want to congratulate them for their work, and this is a good uh, starting point. I'm not about to conveniently escape the building, um, but I do have to uh, attend something else, but Anne Coleman Dunn is here from our department and we have other officials from the department here, so we are keeping a close watching brief on today's proceedings uh, and you know, I look forward to further engagement with you on this and again let me thank uh, Luke and everybody here at the RIA for facilitating uh, us this evening and also let me thank you for, for being here as well. So, good evening,